Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Eva Renee Seven and my special guest, Thomas, my husband, we welcome you. I will be reading the word from Luke, the 18th chapter, first verse, King James Version. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Welcome back, y'all. I am so glad y'all decided to spend time with me today. And this is our final SAS, winter SAS purchase. These are items that my husband had found, and he really found, seemed like more than what I did, didn't you? Yes. And he has an eye for things now. Um, I'm going to be asking him some questions in here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about, hey, we have several Bath & Body Works stores that are not far from us. So we checked them out and we found some nice things. In spite of this semi-annual sale, y'all excuse me, y'all, but my house is getting clean. So y'all excuse that noise if you hear it. In spite of this winter SAS is, seems to me, to us as being worse than last year's winter SAS, yes, uh... What's that, 2022 to 23, mm -hmm. winter SAS? It was not, it was not good. Um, I don't know if it was just because of the fragrances that they had, but the winter fragrances, I didn't care too much for them. And some of the fall fragrances was what I was really looking for, and they didn't have them uh, during the winter SAS. Yeah. But... In our opinion, summer SAS is better than the winter SASs. And winter SASs don't have anything on summer. There are some new fragrances um, I would like to have tried. But because, you know, I had gotten sick and I wasn't really into it like I had wanted to be. But some of the sales that I had seen on the fragrances, I, was, I just didn't... I wasn't drawn to it. And um, I will say that I'm glad that he was able to find some things because a lot of times when we go in the store, it used to be just me shopping around. Um, I have some questions for you, and I would like you to give your honest opinion of what you think. Okay. So do you remember what drew you to Bath & Body Works? Yes, well, uh, um, I think I went to the bathroom mm -hmm. and I used the soap, you know, to wash my hands. And I said, this soap smells pretty good. I wonder where in the world did they get that from? What What did you um, experience that? What did I experience what? You said to the bathroom. What What bathroom were you in? Oh, the men's bathroom. I've been going to the women's where? bathroom. Where? <laughs> oh, at the church. At our church. <laughs> I'm sorry, at our local church. I uh, went in there and uh, used the uh, soap. And soap smelled pretty good, so I asked, you know, the person that um, usually puts the soap in there, where'd you get that from? And he said, oh, Bath & Body. So that sounds pretty good. I might have to check that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the fragrance? Was it I a peach? I don't remember the fragrance. I think you said it was peach, peach or something. Peach or something like that. I'm anyway, not really sure. But the, our church, hey, they have some nice fragrances in there, and uh, it is nice to be pampered when you mm -hmm. go into the restroom to wash your hands that is... Uh, a nice fragrance that you're washing your hands with. Sometimes you want to go in there just to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. um, did you enjoy this sale? Not really because they didn't have a lot for the men. Um, found some stuff later on, mm -hmm. but in the beginning it was like, you know, I was trying to find a needle in a haystack. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, what were your highlights and dislikes? Uh, my highlights were, uh, of course, spending time with my wife, quality time with my wife. And the low lifes is, you know, the crowds. I'm not a crowd person. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of females in there. So you have to say, excuse me. Then you don't want to 
bend over, you know, or you don't want to touch or go over them, you know. So that was one of my, uh, the low lights of it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, which fragrance did you like best from your new purchases? The Manhattan uh, Nightcap. Oh, Cologne. Okay. Okay. Men's Cologne. Mm hmm um, and which out of your full collection of Bath and Body Works fragrances do you like? The, um, what is it? The Manhattan Midnight, the uh, flannel, classic mm -hmm. flannel, mm -hmm. and the uh, Woodlands. Woodlands, okay. All okay. colognes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Men's cool. Let me put my phone right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you think they um, did a great job with the packaging? In some uh, aspects, yes. Um, the uh, classic flannel, I like the packaging there, and also the woodlands. That was pretty nice, too. Oh, okay, okay. And what is, well, this is something I can ask later, so mm -hmm. let's get into it y'all okay and this is something my husband wanted to share with you and you want to talk about that yes this is the ocean the minis usually like sometimes i get the minis so yeah. if i'm traveling i get the minis like if i'm traveling or you know i put it in my bag uh, my wife uh made me get a, a men's purse because i always ask her for something uh hygiene related, so I started carrying my own little um, bag. And, you know, um, if I hadn't, if I forgot to put some cologne or something like that on, then that's conveniently um, used. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna get into his fragrances of what he purchased. And he had, you wanna tell him about that? What's we that? went into the store. Yeah, I had a hunch. I was walking in the mall and I said, well, maybe they might have a good sale today. It was a still 75% sale. And I uh, walked into the store and they was like, oh, these, the cologne is $9. Mm -hmm. And this is one of them. This is the coffee and whiskey. And the notes are warm fragrance with a hint of sweetness inspired by the classic combination of coffee and bold Irish whiskey. Pretty good one. And it smells good, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, I'm not the only one um, from reviews that I have seen. My sister. Um, mm -hmm. We do like this fragrance as well. And I consider it a and This is what it unisex. looks like without the package. Pretty neat. And it smells really good. And he was able to get a couple of these. For $9.99. Yes, because yes. I, I think, I don't know if I have a moisturizer from it. Mm -hmm. But he had the moisturizer for a while, but he was just able to get the... And here's another one. one. This is Leather and Brandy. Let me go over the notes. And the notes are as follows. Deep fragrance with a hint of spice inspired by the comfort of a leather chair and the warmth of brandy. I'm not a drinker, but I just like the smell of it. So this was awesome. Um, the original price is $39.50. I got it for $9. Yes. Wife taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what I stumbled upon in one of the other malls. Um, like I said, I had a hunch and um, I said, well, let me go ahead and stop by and see whether they have something for 75% off. They did. This was $11. This is the Woodlands. This is an awesome smell, too. Okay, the hints. Uh, Woodlands blend notes of cool citrus, fresh sage, and Virginia cedar. Awesome smell. Nice, fresh, out-of-the-bathroom smell. That's what I like in my colognes. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the package. He's professional, isn't he, y'all? Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. That is awesome. 
Love yes. it. Smells good. Looks good. That's what I like. And y'all, he is uh layering things now. Yes. yes. And it be smelling good. He be getting compliments. This is my favorite right here. This is the um, Manhattan nightcap. The original price on there was $44.95. I got it for $11.95, I believe. And the uh, notes are black centil, sweet brandy, and cherry wood. Take it out of the package. Oh, isn't that pretty? Mm, and this mm. is the smell, the uh, fresh smell coming out of the shower. Love it. I like to smell good for my wife and myself. And he got a couple of those. This is one of my favorites also. The original price, this is a classic flannel. The original price is $44.95. I picked it up for $11.95, 75% off. The notes of, let me see, the Class Fennel Blend notes, fresh bergamot, which is my favorite, patchouli, spice, and sweet amber. And uh, bergamot is a citrus fragrance. Awesome. Note. Look plain, pretty much. But I like the box. What's the notes in the? Oh, you read it. Yeah, I already read it already. Yes, ma'am. Classic flannel. Whiskey Reserve. Original price is forty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. I picked it up for eleven dollars and ninety-five cents. The notes are Chris Apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. And that's one of my favorite fragrances in the middle. And my sister-in-law, she loves whiskey reserve as well. And that's what the bottle looks like. Beautiful. Love it. And it smells really good too. Y'all know how that can look on your uh, perfume tray, cologne tray. Mm -hmm. Yes. I bought two of each. All right. My essential oils. Rain, fall, retreat. I picked that up. I think it was like $2.95. I don't know why it's always 95 cents to 99 cents. But I can't read the... It's so small. Ooh. Let me see Very if I small. Can see it. Reading the notes. That also smells good. A rejuvenating aroma of eucalyptus, warm cedarwood, and dewy cucumber. So it's like a refreshing, a fresh fragrance. That's one of the newest items they have, fragrances. Yeah. Love my sprays. This is uh, After Dark. I think I, this original price was $15.95. I believe I bought it for like, I think it was $4.00. $2 or $4. The notes were uh, spice, bergamot, amber, and smooth tonka. That smells really good. After dark, very good spray. Bought some soap, classic flannel, and woodlands. And I've already went over the notes for both of those. And this is something new he's adding to his collection because so, he has very sensitive skin as well. And uh, he just prefer not to have breakouts, but he's going to try it and see how it is. Okay. Also purchase a candle, lavender and vanilla. The notes is lavender blossom, creamy vanilla and white woods. Smells pretty good. 
Jones and Romeo. Hmm? Alvin and Jones. It's a single wick candle. Okay. Hmm. Really good. Another body spray. Mahogany teak wood. That's another favorite. And the notes are as, as follows. Mahogany, black teak wood, and lavender. Smells pretty good. And I think that is one of his rewards. Yes, it when is. When he um, was able to get with his rewards. Here's another body spray for men. Gingham Legend. This is one of the most expensive uh, colognes, but this is a spray, so it wasn't really that expensive. This is one of my... Um, Rewards that I picked up, but if you get the cologne, it's like fifty nine dollars. That's really hard. To, they they really don't bring the price down on that. But it's pretty good smelling stuff though. So the notes are as follows: Was it fragrant? It looks eloquent, rich oak, sandalwood, reserve. Nice, fresh out of the. Shower smell or out of the bathroom smell. And we're getting to the finale of our video, y'all. Hold it. Don't don't show it yet. Okay. Okay, um, I had another question. Um we have gone to their candle day and um we enjoyed that. Uh, we tried not to go crazy over this year's candle day. There were some things that I picked up, but I had put them back because mm -hmm. I'm just like, hey, let's wait. Let's see what the semi-annual sale is going to bring us. And I'm glad we did wait. It may not have been the items that I wanted on my list, but it's something that he is very fond of. And it is one of his favorite, I'm sorry, one of his favorite fragrances and mm. it is during the summer annual sale we were able to pick this up eucalyptus experiment very strong smell it's a three wick candle and the original price was What's the original price? Oh, twenty four dollars and ninety five cents. We bought it for six dollars, I believe. Yeah, six dollars, mm -hmm. I think, and, and some change. Very Not fresh change. Mm -hmm. Fresh, mm -hmm. elegant smell. That's pretty awesome. I like this. And he said it burned very well. I had it in my restroom. Yes. I don't know if I bought it in my bedroom first. I forgot, y'all. But I know I put it in my bathroom area where the toilet is. And he was like, oh, that smells good. You got to get some more of these. Wish we had gotten some more, but we didn't. I think what we have is enough that we can use it up. And hopefully by the time we do the summer semi-annual sale, that they will have some more awesome sales to where we can um, have a great experience like they did last summer semi-annual sale. So final question. Would you like to add... To your experience with Bath and Body Works, what would you like to add? So just um, they need to have more uh, men's fragrances, mm. and it needs to be a little bit more cheaper than what it is. It seems like they don't have a big selection of men's mm. products, mm -hmm. and that would encourage men to come in there and purchase as well as women. And it should be like a special day for men. Sometimes you have to look on your app and be surprised. Oh yeah, we have a, a sale, but. We should be able to just go in personally and, you know, go in there and smell it. Some of the fragrances and stuff like that. And I think that's about it. Yeah, because yeah. I know when, I'll say the women majority of the time, they will alert us and let us know that there's going to be a sale. And some of the people that I follow, they will alert us and let us know about the sale. But we didn't see that for like, the um because i mean people have life besides bath and body works so it would be nice when they're advertising um when they're telling us about their sales that they would say 
hey, we have a sale during the semi-annual sale. We mm -hmm. have a sale for the men's collection, and this will be, and like the colognes. Didn't know about the colognes if we hadn't looked. And, you know, I know they want to get rid of their old inventory. It would be nice if they would alert the men or I'll say alert us um, so that we would be able to benefit off of the sale. Right. And that would just keep us coming back mm -hmm. and give us more rewards because, you know, our rewards are not the highest. But I am grateful that they are offering us rewards because that was a time they did not do it. So, yeah, and coupons, if they would be kind to us all and give us coupons to use, that would keep us coming back mm -hmm. because we're able to get the things that we want and people are still going through financial situations. And yes, we want to be able to get our smell goods, but not too many people, not too many people are going to be going in the store like us and buying it at regular price. Mm -hmm. We don't desire that. So when we get those sales, that's the encouragement to want to go in and see if we can get our smell goods. So this is all, y'all. I want to thank you all for joining us today and spending time with us as we shared our final semi-annual sale items and mm -hmm. we are grateful to bath and body works that they did have a sale on their perfume their perfumes and colognes yes i missed it because you know of my situation but i am grateful that my husband was able to get a nice collection of colognes not just the body mists but the colognes not just the mini cologne sprays but the colognes mm -hmm. so we thank you all Okay. Additionally, if you want me to uh, come back on with my wife, please let me know so I can be encouraged. Yes. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. You all be blessed. Bye. Bye.